Another interesting feature in CBLAM Composer in interaction is making door and cabinet animation. It's very easy and straightforward. If you want to do it by yourself, you have to do this process. It's very difficult. <clears throat> First, you have to select this door and its handle. Uh, I think it's a grabable. No, it's not important. <clears throat> And first, uh, you have to make an animation for opening the door. You have to uh, change the pivot point of this, okay? What's that? Yes, pivot point. <clears throat> Go here, and uh, snap pivot point, select this peak edge loop, <clears throat> waiting to Calculating the edge, click here or select the middle of that edge and hit OK. <clears throat> and then 4. As you can see, the pivot point change here and, and you can make an animation. This is a very time consuming process, but I have to uh, teach you and after that I show you easiest way. And after that we have to create an animation for that. We can add the uh, Oh, as you can see, we have a uh, lot of animation here for all cabinets. It's not important. I uh, select and I can s select all of the objects and delete the animation of all of the object. <clears throat> Bring back to our door. Okay, frame here and if you want to this door open fast or small or slow you can uh, change or any degree that you want for example this degree <clears throat> as you can see we create an animation and we have to select all and then um, store this animation to the sequence create animation sequence and we need the reverse if you want to come back and edit i suggest you don't delete the keyframe from timeline and hit ok and this animation is stored in a sequence as you can see it's closed and it's open okay this is a reverse you can select it and rename it here open and this is close okay that's close yes it's close from there <clears throat> this properties you can select it close and it's ready i have to select this door and go into the action and select uh, select multi-action because we want to click first to open and click second to close it again. Select a loop is okay. Go into the action list, add play sequence. If you want to first select, select you have to uh, <coughs> play uh, sequence. Software tell you which sequence do you want to click, uh, create open. Okay, and it's okay. And the first, uh, second click, I want to play another play sequence animation and close it. Do not want to loop and start at active and everything now is okay. And we are ready to interact with that. Going to SimLab Viewer. And as you can see, going here, if you hold the mouse, you can open it and then click at close it as you can see this process is very time consuming but another tool is that it's very make it easy for us okay click this door okay everything is okay we don't need to do not uh, complex things go to the interaction menu door and cabinet animation an interesting part is here if you want to animate a door, here you can uh, choose the door panel and door handle. You choose which one, double door, cabinet door, side cabinet, button two up. For example, this is a side cabinet and this cabinet is uh, top to bottom. 
you can select it if you want to uh, <clears throat> animate a sliding door just window automatic door uh, garage we can use them very easy or drawer uh, something like this this is a drawer if you select it you have to uh, do this animation <clears throat> it's do it does for you automatically okay first select which kind of the door do you want this is a cabinet of course a slide cabinet okay slide uh, sorry <laughs> side cabinet and here i prefer uh, if you have a very good categorize and name you can select by name you can search a name here but i prefer object selection it's better i can define which one is which select this object and this is a hierarchy of the door okay this is a hierarchy of the door need this is an cabinet panel you have to select whole door as a panel click on this and as you can see if you select a object you can link it to this and you have to select cabinet handle cabinet handle this is the cabinet handle and select it here you can change the how how many degree to open the door you can specify it here and everything is done you have to click next here you can send some settings very easy of course we have to create animation sequence like this animation sequence and animation sequence uh, naming based on the object is okay and what is the action here you have to assign the action to that okay it's attached to the panel it means if you hold your mouse you can click all, all the door or if you want you click on handle attach the handle or attach the whole panel attach the panel and of course we need a reverse uh, animation and simply click generate and everything is done as you can see if you click the door which one is that yes this door here as you can see the multi-action uh, will be created automatically and if you go to the SimLab viewer to select this door, everything do automatically. And as you can see, it's open 90 degree and you can close it. It's interesting with a nice and a smooth animation. Or you can select, for example, top to bottom or I explain this again. You can select any door, any kind of door. Uh, select this which one is that it's a drawer 2 you have to animation hold drawer like this okay this is a parent mm -hmm. yes go to oh sorry go to interact interaction door and cabinet this is a drawer mode select the whole object as a drawer the object that you want to animate it uh, include the handle or any objects select it drawer handle which one is yes this is a drawer handle and click on this link to define that as you can see it shows uh, how many objects that you create with this tool here you can change the, the displacement how uh, far it's open it's in a meter this is in 30 centimeter and simply click generate or you can add any cabinet here or any cabinet that you want okay you can delete it and next these settings are nice and generate animation and hit okay and everything is done for you going to viewer you don't need to make action animation and everything is done for you click it we hold your mouse click and release as you can see it's open click it hold your mouse click and release okay hold your mouse you can find the uh, interactive uh, interaction 
interactive object and release your mouse. You can open the doors and this is a most customizable but it has a time consuming process. You can do it. Okay, it's very easy and in interactions you can test it with any doors here that you want. As you can see, you, know, you have to select the first panel, the first panel handle, the second door panel, second and how many angle that you want to open, which direction do you want, you can flip the door, it's very easy, test it, you know it. And here you can of course save as all of the, these settings or so doing a lot of sitting that you do here you can uh, change the sliding or any door that you want if you don't want to use it you can do manually that I explain you how to do that hello my friends to continue these tutorials on YouTube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that release.